Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a new setup today just to kind of change things up a little bit and I do want to show myself on camera just once in a while. So I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're all doing great. Um, <clears throat> it's really hot over here. Also, I'm still trying to figure out the lighting. It's kind of difficult to get it right. So I hope this works. So to get into today's reading, we are going to be looking at divine soulmate connections. Could be twin flames, twin souls. Um, however you want to label it, we're going to be looking at just the general collective, what is going on with the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines, regardless of whether there is a karmic situation or a karmic relationship in the um, situation here, okay? So just real quick again, before we get started, I just want to show you this doll. I got a new one, just to show you guys. Um, it's actually one of my students who makes them, this one she's calling um, Carousel. And it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. It's um, a pony. The, the girl that is sitting on the pony, like there's just so much detail. I will have the link to her Etsy shop in the description box. And yeah, let's get into it. Keep in mind that this is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. And yeah, if you want a personal reading, all the information for that is in the description box as well. All right, so let's see. What is going on <clears throat> with the Divine Masculines currently? All right, we have Angel of Strength, and I will get just a few more. And then we'll get into the tarot, and of course we're going to take a look at what is coming up as well as the energies for the for the feminines. All right, so just, I mean, even starting off with the angel of strength, this is the masculine's finding that inner strength. It's pure and simple. But also what I'm getting with this is that they're getting a lot of divine support. And for a lot of them, I feel like they might actually be getting some support from the outside, like either having a friend that they are talking to, somebody who is serving as a messenger almost from the divine to kind of help them find this courage, this strength to move towards what it is that they truly want. They have the twin flame card, right? Understanding that this is a divine connection. I feel like they've known this now for a while in the um, collective. We also have mute and we have big dreams. So this is, <clears throat> this is the situation here. I feel like this is mostly going to resonate for those of you where you might feel like the masculine has been keeping back from you, has been mute, so to speak, a little bit distant, or possibly just no communication at all, or has just withdrawn some communication, all right? Um, this is the group where, and not limited to this group, but getting a lot of strength and I do feel like it is coming from the outside also from within but also from the outside to move towards this divine soulmate connection because it is something that in their mind it's like this big dream but for a lot of them it has been um, more like a fantasy something that is just you know just in their minds that you know comes and goes like you know yeah I can imagine what that would be like and it is something that I would want but then you know having rejected that big dream from their minds for various reasons. So, and a lot of those reasons have to do with their inner strength and what it is that they were willing to overcome as challenges in order to get there. And because it just felt like, or it's been feeling like they might not be able to make it, they might not have what it takes to just pull through with it because they might have to ch make changes within themselves or they might have to face um, certain social difficulties, whatever the case, that's what was holding them back from this big dream and that is why they have been blocking it out. So this is them gaining that strength to move, to move forward. And, to, and if it's not moving forward just yet, it's knowing that they do have the strength to overcome these challenges. They do have what it takes. They don't need to have this fear of not being able to make it. So let's get into the tarot and get a little bit more details here. A 
it's been so hot over here. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. And I actually turned off the air conditioner just to make this video because apparently it was making some noise. But I think I can handle this for just, <clears throat> I don't know, like half an hour? We'll see. All right, so masculines, let's see. What is going on with them in general here? All right, we have the Tower in reverse, the Hanged Man in reverse, and the Eight of Wands. So let me just hold these up so you guys can see. Okay. <clears throat> So it feels like, you know, here's the thing with this tower being in reverse right now. There is this um, breaking point and it's like surrounding them, like it's in their life right now. Like things are about to burst. There's a little bit of avoidance when it comes to that tower to really allowing it to come down. It's more like it's building, building, building with that strength and it's that strength that is going to assist them to just completely, you know, demolish that tower and to just bring it down in order to start over, okay? Because we also have the hanging man in reverse and the way that it is coming through to me here, especially having the eight of wands right after, which is all about action, it's all about movement, it can also be communication. Um, this hanged man, this is wanting to get unstuck. And that's why there's this, just a lot of little triggers are happening for them right now in their life. Building, building, building to get that tower to fall. Okay, that's what those triggers are there for. So these triggers could be different for each of them. Maybe some of you know um, about certain triggers that are happening in their life, but I feel like they're pretty big. They're pretty big, but they're building. All right, um, and this is to help them, again, to take a step forward, to get out of this energy that they have been in where they feel like they're not strong enough to really go after what it is that they want, all right? That is pushing them forward. So that's what's happening <clears throat> here generally. Let's see more specifically what their energy is towards their Divine Feminine. King of Swords in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse, actually that one came out first, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, so they're all in reverse. Um, there's this essence of not being able to enjoy life right now, and the way that this is coming through to me is that that is associated to the fact that they are not with their Divine Feminine. They're feeling like nothing is enjoyable. Like they might be doing things, um, going out socially, or, you know, just interacting with other people, maybe taking trips, maybe, you know, just doing a hobby. Whatever it is that they're doing, they're feeling like, like no matter what they do, they're having a hard time really enjoying themselves. They feel like there's something missing here from their life. Again, they haven't, I feel like they haven't really taken action just yet. Um, towards this, there's a little bit of possibly either overthinking or, um, okay. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. Hope she doesn't mess things up. All right, let me just allow her to sit somewhere. Okay, you can sit here. All right. So there's possibly some overthinking, again, because I, like I've been saying, I feel like that's the main message here. The Divine Masculine feels like, or has been feeling like, they do not have what it takes in order to fully go after their dreams, to fully go after what it is that would make them happy, to fully go after their wish fulfillment. All right, this is what they're working on now, and this is what the universe is working on with them at the moment, possibly sending other people from the outside to kind of help guide them in that direction. Um, <clears throat> at the moment though, they're still in that space of really feeling like they cannot enjoy everything, they cannot enjoy their lives. And this is one of the um, triggers actually that is making them understand that they need to get unstuck, okay? Um, so let me actually clarify a couple of these before moving on to the feminine. I'm also getting that for a lot of them, you know, there's this lack of clarity, 
about how to go about this. How can I start enjoying life again? Yes, I know it's related to my Divine Feminine, but how? How can I just, you know, put all these pieces together and make it work? So let me see the three of cups. All right, and we have the Hermit. Okay, so <clears throat> clarifying the Three of Cups in reverse. So yeah, for a lot of them, what this is doing is it's making them really think about this. Why am I not happy? Why am I not able to enjoy anything? What is it that is missing from my life? Um, is it that maybe, you know, the fact that I have been this King of Swords in reverse, not taking action, um, not being determined enough, not having found that strength, so maybe that's what I need to do. And for a lot of them, it could even be that they are actually withdrawing from um, their social life because of that, because they cannot enjoy enjoy themselves, basically. Um, but this is throwing them into a lot of deep, deep thinking, a lot of deep soul searching to figure to figure this out. Really, fully realizing that I'm not happy and I can't even enjoy other aspects of my life that were once enjoyable. Let me see the nine of cups. The Page of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Wands also in reverse. Okay, so a lot of them, you know, they might be feeling some guilt here, feeling like towards their feminine that they have been selfish. All right, wanting, either wanting their cake and eating it too, or just being selfish in whatever other type of way. I do see some guilt here, possibly feeling like they would want to apologize now that there are these realizations that really it was a lack of strength from them. Um, nine of Wands in reverse. It's like they, they've had this um, tendency to give up easily. Like as soon as they would see a block, like it's just like, all right, I'm giving up. And again, it, that could manifest in different ways. It's not like they would just, you know, um, come right out and, and say that. Because for a lot of them, they weren't even aware that that's what it was that was blocking them. Okay, so it, that could manifest in a, in a whole variety of ways, which I'm not, I'm not going to get into that now because I don't want to waste time. But basically that's what it comes down to, feeling like, you know, I don't have what it takes to go after what I want and then to actually live up to whatever expectations I might need to live up to once I am there. So because I don't feel like I am good enough or that I am strong enough, I'm just not going to try at all and I'm just going to make myself believe that I don't want this anyway. And that's why it may have manifested as them not wanting this or being in denial, um, having rejection. But as I've been saying, again, this is a newfound strength. This is, I feel like they're beginning to realize that. Okay, so let's actually move on to the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up in the near future. And again, you know, this, this message isn't going to be for everybody, so just take it if it resonates. If it doesn't, disregard it. Everybody's situation is different. Right, let's see. For the feminines, what's going on here for this group of feminines? All right, and we have Healer of the Ages. Okay, so the feminines are and have been doing a lot of healing, which I feel like has been a recurring theme. Let's see what else. And I feel like at the moment there's more healing that is being done um, for you. I feel like you may have reached a little bit of a plateau where you felt like things were a little bit stable and then things got a little shaky again. And this happened in order to bring things up so that there can actually be more healing, okay? It happens in stages because if it were to all happen all at once, it would just be too overwhelming for you. So let's see what else. For the feminines. Okay, so we have surrender and we have compromise. Okay, so part of your healing has to do with fully accepting a situation for what it is. And I feel like, you know, there may have been some triggers that came up for you as well, um, or that have been coming up, or that might still be coming up. And I feel like for a lot of you, what you're going to see is that you are actually 
able to handle these triggers in a more efficient and effective way than you than you did in the past. You're going to feel like, or you have been feeling like, you know what, I'm just, you know, I, it's this energy of like, I'm throwing my hands up in the air, like, there's nothing I can do. You know, I'm surrendering to whatever is meant for me, to whatever the universe wants to um, orchestrate here and let things play out. Now, that doesn't mean that you're being passive, right? Um, you're still moving on in your life and doing things for your own self and, of course, healing. And one of the um, other lessons that you're learning here it has to do with compromise. What is it that you have compromised that maybe you should not have compromised? And it's not a mistake. So when I say you should not have compromised, that's not like exactly how I mean it because there is no shoulds, all right? Um, but maybe having learned from a compromise that didn't end up really serving you. So it's not that you shouldn't have compromised that, it's just that you needed that um, compromise that you made in order to learn something from that, to see what doesn't work for you and to really see what is worth your time and what is not. Okay, so I feel like that is a, um, a lesson that you have been learning or that you are learning, okay? And then it's also about, you know, learning what, what do I need to compromise in order for my own healing process to happen? What do I need to surrender? Because that, even that in and of itself is a form of compromise. Compromising, let's say, um, you know, holding on to something. I can compromise that, leave that, leave that alone, let go in order to heal. What do I need to compromise? that I thought maybe was serving me, or that maybe gives me some instant gratification, or it, um, you know, it could even be just an addictive way of thinking about this connection or about something else. It could be anything. Let's see what else. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, which came out completely sideways, and the Hierophant in reverse. I also got the Page of Pentacles here that flipped over. Um, so I'm just going to put it up here to the side. And it's actually in reverse, this Page of Pentacles. So You're really trying to take care, I feel, of your um, your material surroundings or just your physical world, possibly even focusing a lot on work, focusing on other things, focusing on what you can do to make your own self abundant. And if you feel like that's not your case, you know, then maybe take this as encouragement because I feel like this is what is going to help you to get out of your headspace. All right, this is this is the issue here that. It can be that the feminine went through a time period or is now going through a phase where there is this fear that is creeping up again and I feel like that is what also needs to be surrendered here. Letting go of the um, obsessive thoughts about anything to do with this connection. And I know that's easier said than done, right? Because we have the Hierophant in reverse here as well. That's what this is all about. Um, the the obsessive thoughts, and they might not be 100% obsessive, okay, I know that's a, that's a bit of a heavy word, just, you know, thinking a lot, overthinking about this connection, you know, just not coming together, this never happening, and really surrendering to that concept, and I know that, that it's just interesting the way the comments come through sometimes, but here's the thing, the whole point of this journey is to find your own self through this, okay? To become more real within your own self, to find your own authenticity. That's what union with your own self is, to find that pure love for your own self. And in order for that to happen, a release needs to happen when it comes to another connection. Even if it is a twin soul, it doesn't matter. So it's like the feminine, you know, is having some fears again. Although I do feel like this time around, 
these fears are coming up because they were sitting, you know, they were sitting somewhere deep inside you. They may have been repressed. And so there have been some little triggers to bring that up again so that you can heal this. And I feel like that is what you are doing for the most part whether you realize it or not, okay? And if you didn't realize it, then again, you know, take this message, use this as an opportunity to heal your own self in order to get yourself out of this Eight of Swords energy, okay? It's just keeping you trapped. And it's definitely not easy. It's definitely not easy. And again, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, that also came out here. And this is about, you know, not trying, not putting in effort, not giving energy to this connection anymore and just allowing it, allowing the universe to just take over. Focus on your own healing and focus on really, you know, establishing your own life, your own 3D world, what is going on in it. Okay, I feel like those were enough messages for the feminine. So let's take a look at what is coming up. I do need to keep this short because it's getting really hot here without the AC on. Okay, so let's see what is coming up for the masculines. And again, you know, if this is not your situation, it's not your situation. Like, that's totally cool, all right? It cannot be for every single person out there. So let's next week or so, what is coming up for the masculines. Alright, one sec, because I dropped a card. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Swords, sorry, the Four of Pentacles is upright, the Seven of Swords is in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. All right, so, so the masculine is not letting this go. The masculine is still holding on to you, so for those of you who might feel like they may have let go, maybe they've disappeared, or maybe they've just, you know, completely gotten over this because of the distance that they've been keeping from you, that is not the case. I actually feel like the masculine is feeling more and more like the Divine Feminine belongs with me, like this is my Divine Feminine. Having this, um, it's almost, it's coming through almost like a selfish kind of an energy, but not in the negative way. It's more like, you know, this is like a part of me, even though I am whole on my own, but it is like a part of me that I just want to be in my life. All right, Seven of Swords in Reverse. This is releasing any um, residual types of denial or escapism, really coming out of that energy, not wanting to be deceitful anymore to their own self. And this is what I've been talking about. I feel like that's what these triggers are building up towards. All right, and it might sound simple, but it's not, all right? This is something that is going to cause them to um, Feel a challenge. Feel a challenge about this. <clears throat> it's like feeling like, again, can I manage? I feel like that is still, that energy is still going to be there. But more and more they're feeling like they want their feminine in a way where they just don't want to escape these feelings anymore. Okay, for those of them that had been. Let's see if we can get anything more specific when it comes to any actions or just any interaction with their feminines. Nine of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Wands, the World in reverse, and Temperance in reverse. Okay, so it's not very clear if there's going to be much interaction here. This is mostly like, I, I'm seeing it as a state of being where the masculine is actually, because of this, because they're going to feel like they want to be with you, to have you, um, they don't want to deny it anymore, but this is like a new a feeling for this particular masculine, and this is why it's difficult to manage. So I do see them really, um, this is actually going to be heavy on them. It's not going to be an easy energy for them to really um, integrate, 
but but they're trying they're trying to really release the stress of of this realization knowing that this is not done all right the world being in reverse here this connection with the with the divine feminine is not done i just feel like it's going to throw them off balance because they're going to have to process this new concept within themselves that hey you know what now that i'm realizing that i do have what it takes i this actually can be manageable all right it's not going to be easy but it maybe i can do it i do have the strength to move towards what i want that kind of just opens up this door you know um to a new set of challenges and it doesn't i know that that sounds like it's going to be a forever and ever process it's not that it's just that this is going to throw them off balance and that needs to happen. That needs to happen. So I don't necessarily see much communication coming up in the next week, um, but I do see them fully realizing that this is not done. This is not something that's ever going to be done with their divine feminine. And this not feeling balanced, what it does is it actually makes us want to find balance because when there is a lack of that, things feel shaky, things feel off. And so there's always this push and this effort to try to find that, okay? So that's that's what they're moving towards coming up in the next week. So yeah, I think I'm gonna um, leave it at that. I feel like this was, this message that came through for the feminines was what needed to come through. So I'm actually leaving it at that. And <clears throat> let's get just a couple of Oracle cards to close this out. <laughs> Never ending story. So there's a double meaning here because I was just reading about this card actually the other day because it, it also came through for um, from one of my clients in a personal reading. So number one, it's what I was just talking about with the world being in reverse. The story is not done. It's not, okay? Um, and this is also about releasing and surrendering when it comes to a story that we've been telling ourselves. How have we been viewing the situation and how, how is this view of it just misconstrued? What story have we been telling ourselves that is keeping us stuck? And I actually feel like that applies both to the masculine as well as to the feminine because the masculine has been telling themselves a story that they're just not strong enough and so they just block everything out because it's just more convenient to believe that, okay, well, I don't want that anyway if I'm not strong enough to get it, to go after it. And then for the feminines, the story has been that, you know, um, I'm doomed if I don't have this connection. Like, what am I going to do? I'm going to be depressed or, you know, am I going to find anything else? Or, you know, how am I going to be able to fully be happy without this connection? That's the story you've been telling yourself, okay? If this part of the reading resonates for you. And that's the message of this card is to just change that story because it's not true. And I feel like the masculines are changing their story. And this is all about you also changing your story. That's part of your healing. So let's get one more. Okay, and we have the gibbous moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. So yeah, I do feel like this group here, you know, even if you are not in contact, it does not matter. Even if it feels like, yeah, well, the masculine still needs to find this balance, it does not matter, okay? There's, there's the goal that the masculine is after. There's a goal that you are after, whether you realize it or not, okay? Within yourself, it has to do with yourself. And I feel like this is for the both of you. You are both very close to achieving those goals, okay? Which is ultimately opening up that door for union to be a possibility here. Okay, so yeah, I'm leaving it at that. I thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if this resonated and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.